Hi, welcome to episode 2 of Bachelor Cooking. I'm hungry and it's like 9.30, so I've got to cook, cook a stir fry. So the first thing we're going to start with is the rice. I've got a pot, this is way bigger than it needs to be, but it's a pot, so we need. Put hot water in it, it just gets to the boil quicker. Turn it on. Alright, now we got rice. I don't know what kind of rice it is, but it's rice. Uh, they say you should have one cup per person. I'll take one cup. But this is going to cook for more than one person, so I'm going to put a cup and a half. And a half. Not much left, but may as well finish it. People say you're supposed to, you know, drain it and get rid of all the chaff or whatever it is. Starch, I think. But I'm not going to do that because I'm hungry. Let's get the rest of our ingredients. So what we've got here is steak. I usually prefer rump steak because I only go to the shop at like 8 p.m. Everyone else took all the rump steak. So we've got scotch fillet. We've got 500 grams ish. That's usually good for um, the amount we're cooking. Got some mushrooms, pre-sliced. Makes means they don't have to cut them. Last ingredient, vegetables. Um, you can buy them fresh, all that sort of thing, but you know, if I do that, I end up not cooking them. They go bad in the fridge. So you can get these things. They just come in little packets. Um, Pretty sure you're supposed to boil them. I don't boil them, we're just going to chuck them in a pan. It works. So, first thing we need to do is cut up this meat. So, those who watched the last episode know that I like to use a uh, steak knife for everything. Believe me, a steak knife works awesome on this, um, but steak knives are in the dishwasher. So, in the meantime, I'm using an actual knife. It's probably not sharp, but hopefully it'll do. Alright, we don't want two big strips, so I'm going to start by cutting one of these in half. And then cut it in strips on diagonals, just because. Alright, we've still got another piece to cook, and we're running out of space on the uh, chopping board. So I'm just going to get the pan, put it on the big burner. Trusty olive oil. Scrape that in the pan. In theory, it should be hot before you add it. Doesn't matter. It's done. So the first thing you want to do in any stir fry, other than put the rice on, is get the meat brown. Then you basically add the rest. Clean up as we go. So we don't want the rice to burn. The burn is on pretty hot, basically as high as it goes, so we've just got to give it a stir every now and then. There's supposed to be techniques with the rice where you, know, you put just the right amount of water in so that it doesn't get too gloggy. But the problem with that is, if you leave it too long, which I often do, um, you end up burning it and then you get burnt flavour all the way through and it's no good. Okay, keep turning the meat around. Get it mostly brown on the outside. You don't need to cook it completely, we'll be continue cooking it later. See, they're pretty small, so we're not going to have to cut them. But we're going to chuck in probably two. Two? Yeah, two. Alright, so there's a few little red bits that are cooking now, but they're basically ready for the next step. So, we're going to chuck in a handful of mushrooms. Make me hungry. Now I'll we'll chuck these in. They're frozen, so they'll take a little bit to cook, so we'll get them in quick. Didn't believe me they were frozen. <laughs> Alright, we'll try and get those veggies down the bottom so they can heat and uh, 
Oh, the rice is doing nicely. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Alright, right, get these veggies down in the pan so they can start heating and melting. Eventually they'll get softer. We can separate them, mix them through. Um, now there's a bit of water in the frozenness. That's actually a pretty good thing because it, we need, need a little bit of liquid into this. Um, and it'll help help cook the uh, veggies. Okay, now we start thinking about flavours. It's pretty good flavour as it is, but you always want to add a little bit. So let's see what we got. So we got honey and soy marinade and sauce. Soy, honey and garlic marinade. Soy. Sweet soy. So you might get a common theme there. So we're going to chuck probably a little bit of most of that in. So we're just starting to get warm enough to separate. The sooner we do it, the faster they'll cook. Just start breaking it up. Okay, this rice is getting pretty close, I think, so we're just going to have a, a test. A little bit longer. So you can taste it. If it's hard, it's too much. If it's not hard, it's ready. You can also see it a little bit. Um, if they're see through, then they're probably pretty good. So most, most of these veggies you can eat uncooked as long as they are not still frozen. And they're actually pretty good if they are still a little bit crispy. They're not, you know, boiled to kingdom come. So we're not far off finishing here, which is good because I'm hungry. So we're just going to chuck in, um, we're going to chuck in some water just so the flavours mix around easily. Alright, now we're going to chuck in some flavours. So, soy, honey and garlic. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, one. So, this sounds a pretty thick one. We'll just do a swirl. I'm going to do a dash of this cheap soy. I like it's really salty, whereas this one's really sweet. I like the salty. They also say, if you're going to cook something sweet, put some salt in it. If you're going to cook something salty, put some sweet in it. So, most of this is salty, as you guess. So I'm just going to stir this again. So what we might try, just add a pinch of sugar. Just got some brown sugar here. It's pretty good. We can use it for almost anything. Just going to get like a pinch. Just through. Alright, we're nearly done here. That rice is basically ready. And once the rice is ready, it's, it's basically time to serve. You can't leave it or it'll get get soggy. Okay, the water's getting lower. It's getting much thicker. Let's do a test. Do a couple little hard bits, a bit longer. And we've got a fair bit of liquid in here. So, we don't want that liquid at the end. A little bit longer and some of that should boil off. Alright. Need a plate. Yeah. Might be able to hear the fireworks in the background. Plate out. Starting to look good. That's good. So we're basically ready to serve now. I'm going to turn this one down to a very low heat. Just let it simmer while we deal with the rice. So you can those fireworks are pretty cool. Alright, you're supposed to be able to uh, you know, get a rice thing that uh, drains the rice, but you need that. So basically, I just pull it out, just take this off, pull it out, use this on the edge, and pour it out carefully. All the water runs out, rice remains, you don't need a sifter. Alright, so there we go. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Just 
going to let that sit for a second. Trusty steak on. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm just going to turn this off. So I'll just get to stir first. Most of that liquid's gone now. It's just a little bit left, which is perfect. Turn that one off. And let's serve. Right, again, doesn't look spectacular, but it'll taste good. Just gonna drain a little bit of the sauce in over the top. Sit there so I can come back in seconds. Okay, there we have it. What am I gonna call this? Stir fry, stir fry our frozen veggies. There you go. Let's have it, let's have a taste. Beautifully tender, about probably about medium, which is awesome. Veggies are good, they're juicy, um, they're not overcooked. They're still that you know, still got a little bit of crunch in there. Test the rice. Perfect. Well, there you go. I'm going to go and eat it. Um, if you try it, enjoy it.